Hello, this is Dave Travels Through Time, Channel 2, and I'm going to be doing my review of The Green Death. So I saw it a few weeks ago, and I quite enjoyed it. And it's a six-part story. It's written by Robert Sloman, who would also write Pine of the Spiders in Pertwee's final season. This is Pertwee's second of final season. This story was the final story of his fourth season. And this dealt with global chemicals. And... It dealt with the anti organization against global, the anti group against global chemicals called the Nutheads, which was the more hippiest group led by Professor Jones, played by Stuart Beaven, who was against this totalitarian um, corporation that was, you know, for pollution, even though it's saying it's for, it's against pollution. But it's actually releasing more oil and more pollutants into the air. And Joe Grant wants to investigate this global chemicals. And meet uh, Professor Jones at the Nut Hutch. Now the third Dr. John Pertry wants to just go to Metabius 3. He doesn't want to, you know. He, you know. he really wants to go to Metabius 3, but Joe Grant isn't really interested at that point. So the doctor goes off. To Medibius 3 while Joe goes with the Brigadier. And then of course Brigadier has, has a lovely conversation with Stevens and it doesn't go over too well. And then of course Joe Grant gets to finally meet Professor Jones. And then she joins up. She goes in the mines with Bert. Unfortunately Bert, sadly, he uh, dies from the... Um, the infection down there, you know, what's it basically the green death. Um, then, of course, we get introduced to these maggots, basically, they're from the global chemicals. And then, of course, Elgin, he gets halfway into the story, he he gets switched over to uh, Mr. James because the actor that played Elgin fell ill. So then they cast Roy Skelton, who did the Dalek voices in the role of. Of uh, Mr. James. And then, of course, Captain Yates, you know, appears halfway through the story as well. Appearing to be, you know, he's going undercover for a unit for the Brigadier. To discover what's going on with global chemicals. And I like that John Perch has a few funny scenes in the story. With, where he plays the milkman. And then he plays the, uh, and then he plays the maid. I thought that was quite funny. And then, you know, you get this hilarious reaction from Mike. You know, when he sees him in the maid outfit. And it's fun. And then, of course, you know, um, Mike gets under the control of Stevens, unfortunately. He gets processed, but then the third doctor is able to, you know, unprocess him and basically go back to normal. And uh, it's a good story. And then, of course, we find out who's really behind Global Chemicals is the computer boss. Play, voiced by John Drew, who would also play a role in Pine of the Spiders. And it's a pretty good story. Um, yeah, there's not really too many faults about the story. I actually quite enjoyed it. Um, there's a lot of twists and turns in it, and there's a lot of suspense. And I think it's pretty well. The only thing that's a little wonky, but, you know, you expect it from some of the effects back in the day, is like the uh, sort of the bug effects of the one flying, you know, in the air. Looks a little wonky, but, you know. The CSO work. But other than that, you know, it's a really good story and um, I quite enjoy it. Then, of course, we find out, you know, you know, the departure of Joe Grant, of course, um, who gets married to Cliff and they did have a relationship in real life as well. And, you know, you've, there's kind of, kind of, you know, and then, of course, the third doctor sadly drives off into Bessie, you know, at the very end in that scene of the story. And then Stevens ultimately sacrifices his life at the end, you know, against the boss. And, you know, overall, it's a very good story. I give this one really high marks, and I really quite enjoyed this story. And, you know, everyone gives a good performance from John Pertry to Katie Manning to Nicholas Courtney to the, all the actors involved, um, Cliff Jones, um, Stevens, everybody, you know, Mike Yates, everybody gets top marks in this one, and I quite enjoyed it. And I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Yeah, it's one of the few unit stories that are earthbound that give really high marks. You know, like I said before, I'm, I'm more a fan of the 
you know, when the doctor was obviously able to go out of, you know, Spy Marines, I gave an 8, didn't I? I gave an 8, I think. 8.5. Because I generally like the ones that are, like, on other planets even more when they're, like, they're stuck on the Earthbound when he's in exile. Um, but still, um, 9.5, really close to a 10. Really good story. Um, and I quite enjoyed it. Um, so anyway, hope you enjoyed my review of The Green Death. Alright guys, take care. Peace. Hope you have it. And if you like what you see, please like, share, click the notification bell. And if you really like what you see and you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. Alright, bye for now.